Pay. General Intellect Group will be present to a short drama about Bloom's digital taxonomy. Hope you enjoy it. Mr. Bloom Office. Hello, sir. Sorry to interrupt you. Mr. Andrew want to see you. Ooh, please invite him in. Okay, sir. Good morning, Mr. Bloom. Good morning, Andrew. Please have a seat, Andrew. Thank you, sir. It have been long time not to see you. What bring you here, buddy? Actually, I have something to discuss with you, sir. Oh, really? Anything for you, buddy. Just speak it up. I want to ask your opinion about adding digital element to your taxonomy. What do you think? Interesting. That is a brilliant idea, Andrew. Please tell me more about it. Thank you, sir. Glad to hear that. Actually, it is about using technology and digital tool to facilitate learning. Great, Andrew. And I think your idea is suitable for young generation as technology become more essential part of learning. Sir, for you information, in this updated version, I have the aim to expand upon digital skills associated to each level. How do you want to expand each level using digital skill? For example, in create level there will be designing, eventing and constructing. This could help student creation. Like blogging, coding, and podcasting. Ooh, I can see your point. Buddy, can you explain to me the differences between revised taxonomy and your approach? There is not a significant difference between revised taxonomy and digital taxonomy. As both support the original continuum of low order thinking skill to high order thinking skill. Digital Bloom's attempt to show the kind of tools that would be utilized at each learning level. And what learning would look like at each of those levels. Before you explain further, let me ask you a short question. Yes, please proceed. For this digital taxonomy, what advantages that student can get? One of the key points for this digital taxonomy is when we use digital it focuses on 21st century skill and learning. Which means students will take charge of their own learning thus produce high order thinking skill. Wow that's so impressive, thank to you I learned something new. I never know that use of digital and learning can help improve students participation. Furthermore, adding digital use to the taxonomy also promote 21st century skills. Like communication, collaboration, creativity, and critical thinking. This will help students achieve all level in Bloom taxonomy in a short of time. Buddy, before we discuss further about your idea, can we refresh a little bit about the definition of each level in revised Bloom taxonomy? Yes, sir. That is a good idea. Ooh, thank you, buddy. Okay, let me start. At the highest level is creating. Creating is about putting elements together to form a functional whole, and reorganizing elements into a new structure or pattern by planning or producing. Next is evaluating. Evaluating is about making judgments based on criteria and standards using online assessment. Then, analyzing is about breaking material into parts, and then determining how the parts interrelate to each other or to an overall structure or purpose. Andrew, can you continue for the next level? No problem sir. It is my pleasure. After analyzing there is applying level. Applying refers to situations where the learned material is used in products such as diagrams, models, interviews, simulations, and presentations. After that, understanding is about constructing meaning from different types of function, be they written or graphic. The lowest level in the taxonomy is remembering. Remembering is when memory is used to produce definitions, facts, or lists, or to recite or retrieve information. Wow! That a lot of information, buddy. Should we go for a lunch and discuss this matter at the cafe? At the cafe. Okay buddy shall we continue with our discussion? Where do we stop just now? About the definition of element in revised Bloom taxonomy. Ooh yeah. By the way, correct me if I am wrong. It is true that student will use digital tools for every level of taxonomy? Yes, you are right sir. As we all know for low order thinking skill involve three level which are remembering, understanding and applying. On remembering level. Student will undergo activities with digital tools such as bookmarking, copying, highlighting and searching. 
Meanwhile for understanding level, there will be journaling, tweeting, tagging and subscribing. Sir, for applying level the activities will be calculating, charting, editing and uploading. Okay, I understand. So let's proceed to high order thinking skills. High order thinking consists of three level which are Analyzing, evaluating, and creating. On analyzing level there will be activities like mind mapping, surveying, linking and validating. Then for evaluating level there will be activities like grading, testing, posting and moderating. Lastly, the higher level of this taxonomy is creating. The activities are blogging, filming, podcasting and directing. With integration of application and a website, it will help students to remember each content very well in a short time. Besides, students can design a blog and develop a program as part of evaluation. Brilliant! That will improve students' understanding a lot thus making still critical thinking in student. So after you hear everything I had explained to you, what is your final opinion about it? It is relevant to implement this digital taxonomy for our educator to develop critical thinking and high order cognitive abilities in students? Yes absolutely. That is genius approach to apply digital element to the Bloom taxonomy. As we all know, the purpose of Bloom's taxonomy is to provide a framework or organization for classifying classroom lesson objectives. It will help teacher a lot in enhancing student thinking at different levels. I fully support whatever you do. Good luck Andrew. To show a little appreciation, I will name this taxonomy as Bloom's Digital Taxonomy. Ooh, thank you!